Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on the MI Gardener channel. As you can see, I'm in my bee suit here. We're going to open up the beehive behind us and check out what's going on after week three. I've already taken out the queen cage and that's gone over really well. And this week we're actually going to take out the, the syrup containers because they actually don't need that anymore. There's lots blooming, lots going on. Uh, the sun's shining and you got lilacs, you got uh, strawberries, clover. Everything's really coming into bloom well. And so I'm going to take off their food source and I'm going to give them uh, the, or give them the ability to go out and get some of the, the natural stuff that's out there. Uh, I've been using an organic sugar water solution for a little while uh, until they can find where some of the stuff is blooming. The reason why I wanted to do that is because it's, it's early season and not a whole lot blooms and they didn't have any, they didn't have any honey stores made up. So what beekeepers a lot of times want to do is they want to say, well, I'm going to keep them all natural I'm not going to feed them any sugar water and I I got critiqued on that however what you have to remember is that they need food just like you and I need food and when you take them out of their container and put them into a box what are they gonna eat because there's nothing in there you know so they are they are just the bees and you put them into a fresh new box they have to have some food and in the in the early season when nothing's blooming it's very very difficult for them to get food and you'll find that you typically have a very large amount die of starvation if you try to go the natural way. I tried that last year. It didn't work out so well. Um, I, I had a, a less than successful year last year. So what we're going to do this year uh, is just feed them up until the nectar, the nectar run, which is right now. You got lots of stuff, like I said, blooming. So now we're going to take off the sugar and they have a much, much better start to the year. And I like how they're looking. Also, what we might do is when we get in there, we might analyze if they need some more space, if they're a little crowded, we're going to pop another medium box on. And I was critiqued also on using the medium boxes. And the reason why I don't use the 10 frame deep boxes is because when they're filled with honey and brood, a 10 frame deep box can weigh up between 45 and 60 pounds. I don't know about you, but that's pretty heavy and I don't wanna risk dropping it. Whereas a medium box, just a, a 10 frame medium box, weighs only about 20 to 20, uh, 20 25 pounds when it's full of honey. Um, and it can range up to 30 if it's packed full of honey. So. You know, it's one of those things that I prefer to um, have less heavy things. So when you're lugging them around and stuff and moving boxes, you don't have to w pull something that weighs 60 pounds. Also, another thing is that all of the frames are interchangeable. The medium boxes, because typically people start with a 10 frame deep box and then they'll put on uh, the 10 frame medium boxes. The problem with that is that um, the, the medium boxes, they have different frames than the deep boxes. They have they're, they're a little bit smaller, the frames are. And so, um, ooh, we got a storm rolling through. Uh, it's kicking up a lot of pollen too, I can see. Uh, but anyways, the, the 10 frame medium boxes have a smaller frame than, 10, than the 10 frame deep boxes. And so if something breaks, I actually have to go get a full 10 pack of deep frame box, uh, deep frames, uh, the, the 10 frame deeps, in order to put in the deeps, uh, the deep containers there. So, um, what it'll be really nice to have is just a lot of extra medium boxes laying around so that if I have interchange, if I have something wrong, I have interchangeable parts to switch stuff out. So hopefully that made sense. And I'm going to open up the box now and we're going to give these, these uh, girls a check out here. A lot of people wanted to know what I use for my my bee smoke here, and what I use is actually just uh, some a combination of wet and dry straw. That way, the the heat coming off of the smoker is not super hot, and it provides a lot of smoke. See? That way, the bees know that I'm coming in, and I'm not burning them to death. puff 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 you don't want to puff too much though because then it can uh, it can stress them out a little bit too much around each side pop the lid pop the lid all right and we're going in all right so we got the 
feeder section here, this is coming off. Lots of bees have propolized the, the, uh, <laughs> the feeder to the, the roof of the box here. All right. Got a little bit of this going on here. Give them a quick thump. And I will scrape that off just like this. Now I don't waste this though. Keep this and chew on that right there. Chew on that because that is delicious, delicious stuff. It's just like gum. I treat it just like chewing gum. I'll tell you what, it's the tastiest little treat you'll ever have. And uh, it's full of enzymes from the bees. Really good for you. All right, put that aside as a treat for me. All right, get a little smoke here. All right, let's look what we got here. We have one frame that is not yet being used. Nothing there, that's fine. And then this frame right here, they're just starting to work on. Got some comb on this side, half a frame, and nothing on the back end. I had a lot of questions. People were asking me how I felt about the, the plastic frames here. This is a, it's actually a beeswax coated plastic frame. I love them. I have no problem with them uh, because basically they're gonna hold up in the heat. Because sometimes when you have a foundationless hive, foundation is like the metal wiring that goes through the classic hives. A lot of times when it gets too hot, some of that foundation can actually uh, give way and you have sometimes some uh, accidents down in the bottom there where the, the comb just falls right through. So, uh, you know, I, I personally go with the, uh, the plastic frames for at least, at least the, the, the brood chambers just because they hold up a lot better. Now, let's check this one out here. This has got another about three quarters done on one side. Woo, got that wind kicking up. That's not good for the bees. But we got, we got some beautiful, beautiful drawn comb here. This is just that very gorgeous brand new comb. Oh, and there's the queen. Oh my goodness, there's the queen. Right there, do you see her? Right there. We see the queen. Lots of drawn out comb here, full frame, front and back. Very good quality stuff. Really happy with this. I'm going to put a second, a, uh, I'm actually gonna put a second hive body on here. I'm gonna put another medium on top because they're, they're pretty full here. They're full all the way up to here and uh, pretty much they have one and a half frames to go and they'll fill that up pretty quick with how much nectar is coming out right now. So I'm gonna put that on and then we're going to uh, pretty much call it a day. So we've, saw, we've seen the queen actually, second frame, which is just almost unheard of. Really quickly, uh, we, nav we were able to identify her um, and, then, uh, and then we were able to put her back so that she didn't drop out of the hive at all and risk getting lost. So. Um, yeah, looking really good here. Um, I'll pull one more, one more frame for you all to see. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Got some, got some uh, gorgeous capped honey up here. Got some gorgeous capped honey and lots of, lots of brood. This, she's a very, very healthy queen. I am extremely happy with how that laying pattern is. Just a very dense cluster of, of eggs, not too many gaps, not too many open cells there and just uh, very happy, very happy sight. And on the back, same deal. Extremely good, extremely happy queen. So let's uh, put her back here, cause no more fuss to the bees, no more fuss than it's needed. And uh, we're going to, uh, we're gonna put that extra, that extra medium on and call it a day. So there we go. A lot has happened in the matter of three weeks. I know, it's pretty impressive. 
I decided I would not put that medium box on, let them get a little more cramped uh, because bees actually like it cramped. They don't like all that kind of space because it's more for them to guard like we talked about. So I'm gonna go enjoy some of this uh, all natural bubble gum here. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. So there you go. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. And my mom always taught me not to talk with my mouth full. So I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully you enjoyed and enjoy your day. It's beautiful out there. Get outside and go garden. All right, I'll talk to you later. This is Luke from the Amber Gardener channel. See ya, bye.